China says it is reversing a controversial policy of separating babies and young children from their parents if they test positive for COVID-19. The city's lockdown is now in its second week and covers the entire population of more than 25 million people. What human rights issues do these strict COVID protocols bring up? You know, I think they're massive, Elaine. There is a shortage of food, quarantine centers. Uh, people aren't allowed to be in their homes to isolate the way we would in the United States. And of course, it's difficult to really get a true sense of what is happening from the government. There are also reports of workers at banks, investment firms and other businesses in Shanghai being asked to stay in their offices for days or weeks at a time. China's COVID zero strategy can't possibly work. BA2 is the most infectious pathogen on the planet. Ironically, China is in you know one of the worst positions in the world right now because their population is pretty much naive to infections. 21,000 cases were reported today. The quarantine centers are overflowing, so China is building more isolation camps outside Shanghai. According to one report, 30,000 Shanghai residents were sent to Zhejiang alone. There is a serious shortage of food. How people are fighting for supplies in Shanghai, they are now protesting and Beijing is trying to silence them. Here is a video that you may have seen. Shanghai residents protesting from their balconies and demanding supplies. Suddenly a drone appears. <laughs> Please comply with COVID restrictions. Control your soul's desire for freedom. Do not open the window or sing. for dinner. What are these? He's good up with Be dead.
No meat, no fish, no nothing. I want only the fish. Veggies only, veggies only. Plenty of meat. Oh yeah. Didn't have enough of that. My name is Rani, living in LA, originally from the Philippines. I am the junior in the ship. How many uh, cloggings Two. have you had to clear this week? <laughs> it's a lot. A lot? Man, Chinese guys, they, they put all the grout in the drain, so it's a big chunk. Some of them are big chunks. <laughs> but this snake is uh, not, not good. So right now we are in dried out uh, Shanghai since last week of February. And as you know well, if the ship is in dried out, crew are doing busy for their own tasks and also for the uh, dock workers. So. Keep safe everyone and let's go for zero accident. God bless. Hey grandma, it's John Carlo just calling to tell you happy birthday. I love you and that the uh, panistas are bad people. But you're not. Love you. Bye. She's 95 today and demented and uh, the panistas were the political party in Mexico she hated when she was growing up. Yeah, good morning. Uh, my name is Giancarlo Tomei. I'm the 8 to 12 AB, and I'm from uh, Santa Cruz, California, Shark City, USA. I'd say you know, it's definitely you know, up and down. Wait, I'd say it sucks. You know, we have good days and bad days. Uh, these lockdowns are definitely affecting everybody. We've been, it's been what, 14 days so far. They won't even tell us when we're gonna be able to leave or get shit done. Uh, but we do have good crew. Uh, we have decent food. Everybody seems to be in good spirits, um, and we're getting we're getting paid good money. You know, my my vices ain't cheap, and neither are my hobbies. Every five drones I crash, I gotta catch another ship. So, you know, just making all this money, nowhere to spend it, and here I am with you fine people. So, could be worse, I guess. Hey 
Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Sherwin Bungayan, and I'm from San Francisco, but born and raised in the Philippines, and I am uh, 80. The situation we're having right now is really horrible because we are on the dry dock, obviously. Like, AC condition is not working, toilet system is not working at all. Some of the guys feel homesick right now, especially during this dry trap, and uh, there's a lockdown going on in China. I've been here, I think I've been here for six months, almost six months, I guess. My name is Madeline Wolchko. I'm the second mate. I'm from Washington State. We are in Shanghai on a island called Changjing Island that is a shipyard island on the Yangtze River. We have been here since February 21st and it is now April 4th. There was a surge in COVID cases in the city of Shanghai so they locked us down on the 23rd of March so it's been almost two weeks of no shipyard work we are just at a standstill just waiting for the next bit of information our own Google searches for news in the city of Shanghai it's the only information we really get so now we're just waiting until the workers come back I think someday they'll just show up again and start working as if none of this ever happened. My first name is Nasir, last name is Arkaban. I'm from Oakland, California. Uh, my job is ACU. We stayed there almost for 45 days. I love the ship. We had a good captain. This is the best captain I'm working with. Maybe I'm working more than 20 ships. I never see a captain like him. He's good personal. We got good officer, good crew. We gonna made it. Okay, so we are trying to speculate as to exactly when work will resume. Work has been shut down. So they stopped work on the 23rd of March. It's Wednesday there. Uh, randomly in the middle of the day for a COVID outbreak. We were supposed to resume on the 28th, but that did not happen. Uh, we don't really know why, but then they told us on that day that it would be a two-week quarantine. We don't actually know what date that quarantine started at, and so our speculation is trying to figure out what day we actually go back to work. And so it's either two weeks from the 28th, which would be resume work on the 11th of April, or it will be two weeks from the day that they didn't start operations again, which is the 1st of April. Other parts of the city did resume operation. You see the container cranes working on the other side of the river here. Uh, but the, uh, clearly we were a problem square. And if uh, the two week quarantine begins on the 1st, then we will not resume operations until the 15th. A total of three and a half weeks of just sitting around doing nothing. Okay, I'm uh, John Prose. I'm uh, the 12 to 4 third mate. In shipyard, I do midnight to 8 in the morning though, and I'm originally from Denver, Colorado. I uh, describe our current situation as uh, rare for the American Merchant Marine, but I think actually pretty common for mariners the world over. Uh, we are all stuck in a yard, and a, uh, we have no ability to leave or go anywhere, so kind of stuck here waiting on the local government officials to sort themselves out and allow us to resume work and go home. Very rare for Americans, fortunately, but I think this is something that is extremely common for mariners. Try to avoid the suspicious stain on the deck. It's from the uh, Chinese porta potty, which Chinese squat pot porta potty, which was there for about four weeks bag at the bottom is just like to overflow. It's really delightful to walk over here and smell that every, every couple hours.
Benjamin David Petruccio Palmer. I'm the chief engineer from Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Our current situation is a shit show to the extreme. This place is a ghetto. It's like, it's not a third world country, but it's a third world shipyard for sure. I've been to other Chinese shipyards and this is by far the worst, but we're getting through it. Coffee time project. Wow, it's so beautiful. Wow. Shoes. Dining room is in there. Wow. Bathroom is in right here. Oh wow, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh thank you. <laughs> yes, hello. My name is Ernesto Lagramada. I born in Philippines and I live in Seattle, Washington. I'm working here as an AB, unlimited. My time work is four to eight in the morning and four to eight in the afternoon. The one that I want to hear here in this our situation is when is the final words that we are living in this area because I'm so really, really homesick. I want to see my tip mom and I, my, uh, my uh, farm. I miss my cow, I miss, <laughs> I miss my chicken, I miss my dog, I miss my uh, cat, I miss my uh, goat. I want to see them because I've been here for more than two months ago, okay? Please send me back home right away. And how long have you been on board? I've been here for more than seven months ago. I'm getting clitty, I'm getting clitty here. Yeah. I used to check these more and more, but they leave them open all the time for um, ventilation. So. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm the third mate. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I do the 16 to 24 watch. In my own words, how would I describe our current situation? Um, I'm actually kind of lucky compared to the other members of the crew because I work 16 to 24. Most of the madness doesn't happen on my watch, so it's for me, it's been pretty chill. Um, it is very boring, and there's like a sense of like despair of actually making progress. But because the majority of my watch, I don't talk to anybody, and I don't think negative thoughts, it, it's not actually too bad. So welcome to the bow. As you can see, so it's, uh, it's uh, not very tight. The reason for that is the winch is the hydraulics blue, um, and so they got permanently stuck whatever tightness it was when the hydraulics blew. Um, I think it'd be a lot tougher if I had to deal with other people and craziness. I'm, I'm not too enthused about what's going on. I don't know when it will get better and I'd really like to get out of here. But the day to day is just boring. Very, very boring and depressing. Never any good news. Things just get worse and nothing can get fixed. Yeah, uh, I would just say it's like a slowly slide into things getting worse. I don't have any animals now. Extra star. Hi, my name is Ethan Villa. My nickname is Steve. It came from my idol, Steve Austin, the TV series Six Million Dollar Man. By the way, I'm the rotary electrician here, just for four months contract. So after four months, I'll be for the other ship. In the meantime, I'm the chief electrician here. I'm from the originally from the Philippines. We're in China now in the shipyard. I guess we're stuck here for the meantime. To be honest, even we stuck here in China, I'm enjoying it here because the first time I uh, met a crew, superb and very nice. Especially the captain is so nice, the chief engineer and the rest of the crew. So the situation here is we just stuck here because of the lock, lockdown if, and we're not allowed to go out uh, because of the COVID. It's a restriction for us. At this moment, we're already here for more than a month. So I mentioned to you already, we're already low of food and water, but still, we're still happy here. But some of the crew are happy, some of them are not. They are, they are ready, want to go home. Even me, I want to go home, but I think we cannot do anything about it. So for the meantime, we 
but just to continue our work here we still uh, waiting for the rest of the parts installed and just also waiting for the uh, for the shipyard shipyard crew to uh, continue their work some of my crew member here is still uh, working here but some are willing to go home now but I don't know maybe they are bored for me half half like a coffee Hello, my name is John Clark. I'm an AB and I'm here from Seattle. All right, so I'm out here. Um, I joined the ship in January. Situation for uh, being in shipyard has been tough. I've been sailing for about 17 years. I've been through a couple shipyards in the US and uh, one over in the Philippines. And by far, during COVID, this has been probably the toughest. Um, but as a sailor, you end up just rolling with the punches. You're gonna be stuck with good situations, bad situations. Uh, this one has probably been the toughest for me in the 17 years that I've been sailing. Um, but you have to get through it. We're stuck here, there's nothing we can do. No amount of bitching or complaining is gonna help. Even though I do it, a lot of other people do it. A majority of the people do it. But after a while, you just have to give up and just roll with the punches. Um, it has been a tough time, but there's also fun times in between the little stuff. We got a decent crew, a couple crazy guys, a couple good guys. But when you're on a ship, you're family. You've got crazy uncles, you've got the, 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 the jerks, the, the buttheads. But you do what you do, you try to make deal with it. We get paid a decent amount, so that's like the only thing you get to look forward to. You work for a couple months in a row and you can take long vacations. So now we're stuck a couple weeks, almost a couple months into shipyard where it's empty, there's nothing going on, but you do what you can. Uh, luckily, most of the time the crew is keeping, keeping everyone happy. Uh, there's definitely situations that's tough to deal with, but you just do what you do. At some point, I'm sure we'll get the news that we're going back home, but until then, you know, there's so much hearsay, lots of gossip. The only thing you can really count on is when you get a phone call or a radio call in the morning saying it's time to go. If they tell you, oh, here's what's going to happen in 10 days, it's not going to happen. You're, you're going to have to deal with it. We're going to run out of bacon. Breakfast is going to be rough. I heard we have about a month left of meat, so we'll deal with that. Of course, I'd like to get home, but it is what it is. Make a couple bucks while you're out here. Try to keep what sanity you do have and have a little bit of fun while you're doing it. By the way, I'm Chris Bartulo. I'm uh, the boson here. I'm from Philippines, but now I live in uh, California. Uh, since 2014, I just migrated with my family. Now working on a American plug diesel. This uh, current situation is unusual because of this uh, pandemic. This is what happened. We have a lockdown, you know, since. We just came in from uh, Anchorage, quarantine by the process, you know. We are here still uh, looking forward to to hear somebody uh, uh, good news to the shipyard uh, facilities, you know. And this is my, I think, second longest time in, in Shanghai because last 2013 I've been here for a uh, delivery for the new ships yeah and this is the second time longest I've been here in uh, Shanghai so far but we're still counting this time because we don't know until now we don't have any solid uh, words from the company and to the shipyards when they are getting back to work 
Africa is still looking forward for the good news. Hey, Manny. Yes. We're going to go do your room now. Yeah, okay. Cool. So when the ship is constantly rocking and rolling in high seas, a lot of times the tile will flex and break. So in shipyard, one of the projects is to redo the tiles on a lot of the rooms. We have water. This full alarm system. It's monitoring everything there. One of our problems there, the cylinder, jacket cooling. It doesn't uh, correctly uh, monitor the temperature. So I tracked down the monitor. Uh, wiring going to the main engine, cylinder number 12, and then directly here. This section is an interface between the analog to the digital. So the computer is going to analyze what's the problem. But because this is digital, there's not the converter, this is the converter side. So from there, the sensor, from the temperature, going straight here, it's an analog, and then going to uh, convert it from digital. The problem is here, so maybe there's an adjustment here. We call this an interface converter. It's an adjustment over here. That cable is laid to the sensor, temperature sensor, RTE. This is our main engine, and this of them there's a sensor. Now we have to only call them the jacket cooling to cool the engine. And from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's where we're going to go. Mine busted twice, so I ended up just throwing it in the dumpster. Are you gonna get a haircut? <laughs> yeah. What? A mohawk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My hair is finally going past the uh, my last neck vertebrae, so it's an official moment right now. Ja! We got that a little bit this one, huh? Yo, definitely up top. Yeah, you, you don't want the fucking cockatiel. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> good move, good move. Sorry, I'm rocking out, man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure it goes past the last neck root so it's a true mullet. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> This is a mullet, huh? Mullet! Ow! Other side. <laughs> on the other side. I thought that would, I thought that would be funny. <laughs> yeah. Tell him to put it on my tab. <laughs> it, it's a coin toss. When you're out here for six months, half of us are going to have our birthdays. It wouldn't be so bad if they kept the stores going. I got like 20 of them. Well, a couple of them are stupid, but yeah. So, uh, I just wanted you guys to know that I just want someone to see the, the, the color pattern here. I got the black and red on the coffee cup. Black and red. Black and red. I just want you guys to know that I'm the epitome of fashion. 